Okay, here we are again. I think I've only been recording for 12 minutes, but it's actually taken me probably about a half hour because of all the restarts. Okay, so um, this is a little bit intimidating. They've got three solid archers and four solid frontline defenses. Uh, but at least I can close the distance early. Rightly so, the enemy went right for my sovereign. So I'll go up front and give it a sweep. Killed two right away. Uh oh. I got bashed. It's a big problem. Man, these units have very high initiative. I think I just screwed over my sovereign. fix this. Actually, I don't think I can, really. Uh, but losing Warlord Verga isn't going to be a huge problem. I'll still take the city. See, right there is when I would have liked to move in and then stunned their archers, but no such luck, and now he's down. Just have to keep on moving through. Tarth must be going pretty far into the magical tree, since they've got the Aegis robe. Their archers are doing a good job of avoiding me, too. There we go. I think I lost that unit.
pretty close match, actually. I was just a unit or two ahead in the battle. And they used what they had pretty well. Also, they were able to take out Warlord Verga, which is no small feat. I need to make sure I get him some better armor soon. Alright, but that's, you know, something I expected, which is why I brought an extra unit. Now I have Iriag. Let's see what it can do for me. Uh, grain 3, Materials 4. They went for Town. Alright. Is all that grain natural? Yes. And the Materials... Oh, I see. So they were um, a 3-3, three, three, and now they're a 3-4. That's a good indication that my um, uh, calculations I'm using for AI value is starting to work. Um, because, you know, you might see this as a conclave or something, but uh, a 3-3 three, three is fine for a town. Really. So that's going to be a good boost of my economy already. Wow. I only pay 0.5 Gildar per turn for all of these guys. Let's see where Iriog sets. Only plus 2.5 per turn. Oh, there's some trolls nearby too. That could be a problem. Okay, so it's going to take a little bit longer to beef up that town, but once I get it going, it's going to like be a good food source for the rest of my cities. Um, still got an issue over here, but it doesn't look like they've really advanced much. And this city's looking a little bit more clear. Warlord Verga to the south. Oh wait, no, he's immobilized, right? No, he didn't get immobilized. Weird. Well, he's still got a heal. Another siege battle. I will... Actually, I think I can hit their archers on the first turn. So I'll just leave it how it is. Try and knock out these archers. Only 40 health. Which means they're um, doing actually something that's pretty smart. If you train your archers from a town, they only get to level 1, uh, but a lot of times towns have uh, some extra time on their hands, uh, which can be used to train uh, sort of back of the battle units. Unfortunately, the game doesn't allow you to choose where your units are placed, so that doesn't always work out. Sometimes it will. Wonderful.
This unit's pretty much healed up. That's good news. Oh, but this looks like a slightly more competent force. They've got horse archers and normal archers. So I also don't can't get to them because they're lucky enough to be in the rear. Ah, uh, but their front line's mostly level one. So I've got a pretty nice advantage there. in it. Oh well, I'd rather lose an Impaler than get another injury for a hero. But you never know, I might get both. Looks like they'll take one more hit before dying. Really taking one for the team there. Oh, he survived. I wasn't expecting such a lucky occurrence. He might live to the next battle now.
another attack. Trolls this time. And directed at Warlord Verga. That's one of the dangers of taking over a Tarth city, is sometimes you end up having to deal with uh, wildland creatures nearby. But fortunately, I'll get the jump on them. Just need to make sure I don't put any weak units in the front. That was a very efficient attack. So that unit's kind of a free radical. But if I move this one... No, he would still... Alright, so move to the edge. Close, no cigar. It's a mistake for them not to prioritize Warlord Verga. If they focused on him, they might be able to kill him and stop him from using his various tricks, like stun. strike. Or really just his normal strike's pretty strong too. Oh, I had a double strike there. I didn't realize it uh, had a short cooldown. Not to worry. So there's some dead trolls and some pretty nice XP for me. Oh, okay. So that was just the preliminary troll attack. There's more. I wonder how many of these battles we're going to be doing. slightly more powerful, but most of their power lies uh, in their Troll Shaman, who has better health and attack. I gotta say, sometimes I hate myself for uh, making it so challenging. But really, it had to be done. Trolls are sort of the um, mean difficulty of all the units, I think, for the AI. Maybe they're a little bit stronger, though, because they do have regeneration. Uh, but really, they're about the strength of a normal unit. They just uh, go through armor a little bit easier. So I'll we'll move right in here and sweep. Pretty good damage on that. Expecting that. Hmm. I guess I don't have any control over it, but I really wish the troll shaman would do a little bit better job of casting spells. I don't think that the AI has seen the spells he can cast. It's got some pretty good spells there.
There you go. Too bad. I was hoping for a bit of a dodge there. Oops, that was a waste. He could have been attacking the troll warrior. Alright, so minor losses. Let's hope that was the last troll attack. I got a little bit of a reward. Hmm, apprentice swordsman. I'm gonna take it. Oh, and then there's a troll lair, which I will soon be able to utilize. Oh boy, more soldiers heading towards the front. And I still haven't gotten rid of Lord Relace's army. Might need to rush by some of these. Oh, it looks like one of their armies finally went north. Two. That's not good. So we've got a Listrid, Force Drake. I'm gonna pull Warlord Verga off the front, and I'll leave the rest for city defense. So. 
get a splitter heading to a Hilga. Another splitter. Yeah, which will go towards a Hilga. That'll be my grouping point for my new army here. So let's see if I can end turn. Looks like I ended turn. This is one of the most um, exciting sort of losing battles I've ever fought, I think. It's been a lot of really good back and forth here. Um, I did not expect all these powerful nations to declare war so quickly, but no one really likes Yithril, so it makes sense. Oh, good Queen Persephone is able to march. More armies showing up here. So I've got three splitters. Take out this light force. I really ought to cast regeneration on Warlord Verga, but I don't want to lose my mana income. Wonderful. Minimal losses, considering we were equally matched just about. Now I would like to take over that outpost again, though. Harklech. Hmm. I know there's a city there. do down here now. A troll army could be pretty easy to wipe out. Let's take some of my stronger units out.
Might get away unscathed here. A little bit of damage. Not a lot. I can do lots of attacks on these roads, too. Pretty nice advantage. Let's see. So this is one of my weaker units. I'll have them hit the Spear Maidens. This is a confounding Spear Maiden army. Only 24 HP. Of course, they're taking a lot of licks. Oh, I shouldn't put these in the middle, but I really wanted to capitalized on those. I don't think these trolls will pose too much of a threat. They're mostly just beefy. And as long as I can get around them to kill the archers, I shouldn't have a problem. And the archers went down a lot faster than I thought. Oh boy, that's not good. Took 81 damage from that weak little army. Now we gotta move this unit somewhere safer. That should do. Alright, I've still got two attacks left. Really, probably just this one. Then I'll go back into the city. But a pretty good roundup if I can kill this army. Alright, now I just really have that one archer unit to deal with. Huh, they're going right for the splitter. Not sure that's their best bet. See, like I said, those uh, ogres are great for bashing. Not 
too shabby. Oh, and now I've got Firemaster. Mm, actually, that probably won't do me much good. I'll take Tactician 2 over that. I'm running pretty low on mana. Four, nine, four, two. Excellent. If I can keep the units I have for about six more turns, uh, I should be pretty well set to deal with what's coming at me. Huh. Altar's gonna focus on Safara. Then we shall meet in hell. Oh, well, look at that. Ogre army's going after... al Halin al Let's see what we got for defense here. Um, plus four initiative to station units. Plus four cutting, blunt, and piercing defense. Five city militia. So five, that unit doesn't really count. And they've got more than that of trained units. I need to get back to that city quick. Oh, of all the crap to deal with, go through the city, my friend. Go through the city. Great. So I also don't get that outpost. And my units are acting foolish. I don't think I even have any... Uh, magic I can work. Oh, here we go. Tremor. This will even things up. There. I should be able to get there next turn now. Although, I should almost already be there. See, now I can reduce the... Oh, never mind. They're able to resist. Sometimes forget about that, because it hardly ever happens. So, defense 12, 84% chance. Hmm. Definitely gonna go after the archers. slow to hit, um, or, yeah, I guess to hit would be appropriate. Um, I'd be sitting pretty right now, but this might be a close battle, since I didn't. Uh-oh. Oh, wait, yeah, I get backswing. I know their hero 
was going to cast Burning Blade. Alright, so things are looking a little bit better. The sieges on Stone Castle have pretty much stopped. In fact, next turn I'll have my castle there. Uh, I might as well rush by it. Let's take a look at this. I don't often come down to the uh, normal view, but that does look nice. Nice and safe. So now I've got six city militia there. It's pretty good for a level two. May soon be fighting a forest strike up north, though. That could be a problem. Really, what I think my overall strategic goal is is to get up to 300 or more than Tarth in faction power, so that I can get rid of one of these wars uh, and focus on the other two enemies. Splitter and Timber Cut. Wonderful. So, let's see if I can make this easier. There we go. Let's see, we'll take one, two, three, four, five, and six. This army is starting to get a lot more powerful. What's this here? There are guardian units, that's high armor, a marksman, and Joffrey. Versus their weaker troll units. I think I'll attack Joffrey. It'll be more meaningful to kill him. Of course, heroes do get to cast Gift of Iron and the like. It's kind of a kink in my plan. That gives them a lot better armor. See now, uh, their front line's going to be a lot stronger, and I'm going to have a much harder time getting to that archer unit. Uh, using a battle axe, I might as well take a pot shot at their hero. 
And I suppose I should focus on the Darkling so I can get my uh, other units forward sooner. But it just takes so long to get through a Darkling. Wow. That's bad news. There we go. See, these cutting attacks aren't going to do much against their chainmail units. Here we go. So now I've got uh, within striking distance of their archers, and their hero's gone. I stand a little bit better chance now, but I'm going to take pretty good losses from this battle. So now I'll pull that unit out of the battle before it dies. I just gotta hope I can kill their archer in time. Great heroes missed way too many hits. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, they have Obscuring Fog. That would make sense, then, that my hero missed.
chest up there. These units are extremely well armored. It's because of that gift of iron, though. Got lucky. There we go. Like I said, heavy losses, but another army down. Oh cool, this uh, outpost was culture switched back over to me. I like to see that. Oh, whoops. Uh, my cities didn't get a new production order. Oh, that was, uh, jarring. Hopefully... Lord Verg has healed up enough for this battle. Looks like he's at full health. So this is my weakened splitter. Oh, perfect. Their archers when they flank here. Another splitter. Splitter. Um, I don't want to put it right on the front there. Too many focusable, focusable attacks there. All right, so we'll move into that point. Do sweep. effective. Alright, so I didn't want to cast escape there because that means I lose my city. What I wanted to do was uh, do double sweep. So that sucks. Also, if you look here, Al Hayin Al Hassan. Um, does it have city militia? Oh wait, so I just conquered it right back. Hmm. Whatever. At least I got rid of that stupid scroll. I should have sold that a while ago. I hate those things because uh, there's no "Are you sure you want to be defeated?" It's just, ah, uh, you escaped because you clicked the wrong button. Hmm. Oh, but my population's just decimated. That's too bad. What? Nice, um gorilla troop here, horse archer with wilding warriors, and my road is blocked by a forest drake. Alright, well, we're coming on uh, about an hour here, so 
Uh, I'm probably going to save and maybe come back for more if I start doing better, but um, this is exactly the kind of balance I was looking for in the game. Uh, basically, the Yithril will know only war, and if they're weak, they'll be it'll be declared on them if they don't declare it, uh, because everyone hates the Yithril. Um, I really like this. I like uh, that even though I didn't get a great starting position or expansions, um, I sort of was able to go full fortress um, and stand a pretty solid chance against the other factions. Uh, the problem, I think, is that uh, the battle axes and weapons for drugs are underpowered, so I'm going to switch probably their blood to um, give maybe an extra... maybe instead of plus one attack, it'll be plus three attack or something like that, so that their soldiers are a lot more powerful. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, but that's the change I'm thinking about making for them, because I think I should be doing a little bit better than I am. Um, and I've noticed that the AI doesn't play them well anymore either, because I've given so many uh, other powerful things to the other factions, and Trogs are sort of becoming a mundane faction. So, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll try and come back soon with another... Uh,